Coming in goal, wearing number one, Walid Cassis. At defense, number six, Tyler Allen. Also on defense, number 10, Bobby Ross. Wearing number 22, Kyle Moraldo. Also on defense, Liam Callahan. In the midfield, number five, Ian Moore. Number 13, Nico Tagaloa. Number 14, Marcus Hansen. Number seven, Russell Cicerone. At forward, Martin Fimorali. And we're in the captain's armband, number 18, Brian Knapp. Let's see, Buffalo is coached by Bob Roach, Nick Stern, and Brendan Murphy. We now ask you to rise, remove your hats for the playing of today's national anthem. FC Buffalo would like to thank our sponsors for tonight's game, Rich Products, Axe Advisors of Buffalo, Western New York at Media Care, the Media Care, excuse me. We also like to thank Mess K, your home for pre and post game fun at 1420 Hurl Avenue. Admiral Sportswear, Buffalo.com. Taking them out last Western year in the playoffs in Detroit. Uh, and having that type of performance Miter, right out of the gate Admiral is really, Sportswear. really encouraging to see uh, Russ Cicerone, the very highly touted UB prospect, to uh, really dominate that match. Yes, Cicerone had a pretty special Salem volley late Sports in the first Park. half to make it 3-1, like and, and Erie had a difficult today. time Buffalo recovering from that. Care, like we're going to take a break just for a second so the PA announcer can finish talking, so we're not yelling. The blue right on the left side. Now let's play. All right, now we're back. Thanks, Nick. Brian Nath, FC Buffalo's captain, standing by the officials, getting ready for uh, determining which ends to line up at. AFC Cleveland enters today 0-0-1, or 0-1-0, depending on how you keep track of your standings. But AFC Cleveland has one tie. They drew their opener on the road. Vinny Bell scored a late goal. Uh, for the Royals, which got them a, a pretty valuable road point, Russ. And AFC Cleveland, there's a bunch of familiar names that we've heard and seen in the past, and uh, I guess Vinny Bell off the top. Yeah, absolutely. Big target forward. It will cause uh, defenses a lot of problems. You know, obviously he's a clutch player in uh, the right situation and getting that, that really needed uh, road point, like you mentioned last night, in Pittsburgh. Uh, so we'll see how the, uh, the center back pairing for Buffalo can handle him today. Uh, speaking of that center back pairing, you have Liam Callahan, a guy who was pretty late coming into the fold for FC Buffalo this year, but he played at Sweet Home locally. Um, he also uh, went to Villanova, and it sounds like he might be going to Syracuse too, so we may have a uh, continued local flavor with him. Yeah, uh, it's really, really good to see a lot of the, uh, the, the names of the, the high-profile programs on this roster this year. Uh, between the, you know, the, the contingent from California here, uh, Russ Estrone, Marcus Hansen from UB. A lot of talent on this FC Buffalo team this season, a lot of quality. So it's going to be exciting to see how Brendan Murphy can build off of uh, last year's playoff success. One name that we probably haven't heard a lot of before is Martin Fiamawali. Um, he had a very good deb debut against Erie. He, he only really 
contributed an assist on the score sheet, but he was dangerous. Uh, he played his position well, played a target forward, uh, gave Erie's two center backs a, a lot to handle, and that created a lot of space for Russ Cicerone to really take advantage of. Yeah, Ben, as you can attest, Cicerone was really the focal point of Buffalo's attack last night, drawing fouls, scoring goals, uh, really being an all-around threat, and it's going to be exciting to see what he can do for this Buffalo team this season. All right, we're ready for kickoff. It's Cleveland ball going right to left. Cleveland's wearing their road whites with black numbers and black shorts. FC Buffalo wearing their home blues with yellow sleeves and yellow numbers. And we're ready to get underway here in the home opener of FC Buffalo's 2014 season. <laughs> Just to go over the starters again for FC Buffalo. Ian Mort, Tyler Allen, Russ Cicerone, Bobby Ross, Nico Tagaloa, Marcus Hansen, Brian Knapp, Kyle Moraldo, Liam Callahan, Waleed Cassis, and Martin Fimowali. Cleveland starts with the ball. The ball is played back to Spencer Semple, who's actually a backup keeper for Niagara, Russ. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you weren't expecting to have a lot of uh, local guys on the opposing squad, but turns out <laughs> AFC Cleveland's keeper is a Purple Eagle. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of uh, regional uh, regional back and forth with rosters and players. Uh, I know Buffalo is scouted within Erie, and obviously Russ Cicerone, uh, a UB product, but uh, a Michigan native. Long ball played up in the direction of Fima Wally. There's a whistle, and it's headed the other way in favor of AFC Cleveland. Familiar big center back for Cleveland is Dan O'Callaghan. Uh, dangerous aerial presence. Also can play a good long ball out of the back, as you see right here, in the direction of Vinnie Bell, who flicks on. Ball's cleared away by Kyle Moraldo, who had a, a good opener. He's another Niagara player, um, a trusty outside back. Won't beat you much with speed, but he's solid positionally. A good aggressive defender. Long throw by Cleveland's Fairley. In the box, headed back by Bobby Ross. A shot on goal, cleared out again by Ross. Dangerous little sequence there in the box for FC Buffalo early on. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh... From what I hear, I wasn't able to see the game last night, but from what I heard, uh, Buffalo in the first 15 minutes was kind of looking to get their feet under him and you know get that cohesiveness. So hopefully the Buffalo can uh, pull that together within the next uh, 15 minutes or so, like last night. Brendan Murphy was pretty, <laughs> pretty shocked by the firepower by FC Buffalo, scoring three goals in the first half. It's, it's not something we've really grown accustomed to over the last four years, is seeing a pretty big offensive explosion, but. We got that on the road at Erie. We'll see if they'll uh, they'll continue clicking today. Yeah, Cicerone really seems to be the uh, the uh, the needed piece that Buffalo uh, has been looking for since last season. They've had a good team last year with a lot of energy in midfield and the ability to really pin teams in their own end. But Cicerone has that skill and ability to really uh, capitalize and finish and be dangerous. Ball swung in there towards Vinny Bell, who looked like he got a little push in the back from Bobby Ross, but the officials did not think it was enough contact to call a foul. However, Cleveland does keep the ball, plays the ball wide to Tom Beck, who's played more of an attacking role in the past. Now he's sitting back as an outside back. Beck flicks over towards TJ Welch. Cicerone on the ball now, tries to flick. Can't get a piece of it, Cleveland throw. Liam Callahan pokes away from danger. Perianos, however, shields off Brian Knapp, pokes the ball away from Tagaloa. Here's Chris Fairley on the left wing. Fairley fakes a cross. Now sends it in, blocked out for a corner by Nico Tagaloa. First corner kick of the game goes to AFC Cleveland here, just two minutes in. Ross, set pieces were a strength for FC Buffalo in their opener against Erie, but with a lot of height on the Cleveland team with Vinnie Bell and O'Callaghan in the box, this will uh, this will be another good challenge for them in defending set pieces. Yeah, for sure. You're looking down that lineup during the anthems, and a lot of size on that Cleveland side, Cleveland team. Manfoot plays the ball in, swung into the area, a shot just wow. wide. Dangerous chance by Adam Mitchell, Notre Dame College's leading scorer last year. Got a good look at net, curved it just wide to the far post. Dangerous chance there off the set piece. Yeah, Buffalo being very reactive. Need to get a handle on uh, those loose balls in the area and clear them out as soon as possible. Nice ball swung in there by number 14 for Cleveland, Chris Fairley. Will lead Cassis, UB starting keeper, will take the goal kick. Flicked in the wrong direction by Dan O'Callaghan. Marcus Hansen now on the left wing, goes out for a throw, he'll keep it. Hansen's another UB, UB player who had a strong first outing. Goal and an assist. Pretty assist too. It was on Dan Hunt, a substitute for FC Buffalo's goal. Hansen swung the ball in from the left wing, right into Hunt's foot, and all he had to do was take two touches and put it past Danny Mudd. 
Deep throw into the box. Cleared away from danger by Chris Fairley. Brian Knapp on those long throws. Consistent danger last year, and more than one goal resulted from, uh, from Knapp being able to get that ball from the sideline into the uh, opposing penalty area. So we'll see if Buffalo can capitalize on those types of opportunities again this year. It's tough for Knapp in situations like this as a throw-in specialist to go from one side to the other, though. <laughs> yeah, might have to rest him. <laughs> Here's this deep throw into the box. Fima Wally tries to get a touch. The other side of campus. Going back to UB, Ben. Uh, you know, you and I were able to uh, sit in on some of uh, UB's uh, fall season and uh, really get a feel for you know this team uh, that's coming out of Amherst. And uh, you know, Marcus Hansen, you know, Will Willie Cassis, and obviously Cicerone. Um, you know, UB did not uh, go to the uh, the MAC playoffs last year, but they took Akron to the wire. There's a lot of potential on this uh, this young UB team and. Uh, Referee raises the flag, a poked through ball by Ian Moore to Cicerone. Cicerone maybe a couple steps off sides as judged by the AR here. But that's what you want Cicerone doing. You know, thinking forward, thinking off that back line, hanging off the shoulder of the, uh, the Cleveland defense. It's a withdrawn forward role for Cicerone. Cicerone, he, he doesn't have a lot of defensive responsibilities. He's willing to work back, but Brendan Murphy really wants him kind of playing in behind Fimo Wally, uh, keeping Mord involved dribbling at the defense, and he's really good in that pocket of space right in front of Cleveland's two center backs. Absolutely. Tagaloa, short ball in the direction of Fimo Wally. Wasn't expecting it. 